Okay, Kenny, you've got one of the fastest horses on the backside, Life in the Fast Lane. Boy, she's won six in a row, eight out of ten. She comes into next week's stakes race in good form, right? Although she is coming off a layoff. Yeah, she come off a layoff. We did a little operation on her. Uh, it wasn't nothing real bad, something we had just had to get cleaned up and and uh, gave her a little time off. And But, you know, uh, her regular rider is not riding her. He got hurt up there in Houston, so. David Alvarez. Yes, right? yes, David got hurt, so we just have to, you know, just play it by ear and just hope that, uh, you know, she gets to do what we, we asked her to yeah. do, but she's a good feeling, and uh, I, I kind of feel it, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, how was she doing since the surgery? She's been doing good, training real good. Okay. Training real good. What, what is she like, I mean, personality-wise? Oh, no, nah. she got her own personality now. You tell me she gets she, a little hot before races, right? Yeah, she she's one of those kind If of, uh, she's walking down the Chevron and she decided she's going to just stop and take a look. So you just let her stop with her. Yeah. All right, and let her look around and she'll walk off. But if you the type, you know, to try to pull on her or something like that, she won't respond. She'll, you know, try to fight with you, I guess. Maybe a particular woman, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you said David got hurt. Antonio um, Alberto's going to ride her next week, and he's ridden for you some in the past, but not on her. What kind of instructions will you give him? Just stay calm? Well, yeah, that's the main thing. You just stay calm. Just stay, you know, kind of focused on her. And he, he you know, he got on a, uh, a couple of times. So, in the mornings, yeah. And so he getting a little feel of it. And tomorrow uh, I plan to... Uh, let her get, let him get back on and just kind of get another feel of her. So uh, that'd be up to the big race. Yeah. Now that's next Tuesday, and um, you know it's one of the first stakes races of the season. It's at 350. Are you concerned about the distance? Because she was doing 400. She even didn't she set a track record at Evangel? Yes. Yes. Going 400. Right. Uh, but you know, 350. It's well, we got to start somewhere. So right. First of the year and. And uh, she's one of those type, if she does everything right, stand there and look down the racetrack, she she gonna try, she will try. Yeah, now we talked earlier about owners and dealing with them. She's got a couple of neat owners, doesn't she? Oh, he, she has some real good owners. Yeah. Real good owners. They, you know, they dedicated to the racing and and they, they the type that uh, a trainer would like to train for, you know, they're, they, they'll get with me and we'll discuss different stuff and they, you know, till we agree to what we think the best for her. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, that's, that's how it goes. You yeah. know, everybody got to work together. In there. Yeah, Jason and Michael, right? And they, they do a lot of homework when they buy the babies. They had a big horse a few years ago here, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's just one of those things, you know, I, they might have a couple of decent babies this year, you yeah. know. Uh, they have a couple that I have this year, and then so far, they they doing pretty good with them. Well, life in the fast lane, so she's one of my favorites, won eight out of 10, almost a perfect career. You told me she was two, she was a runner, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but she she has her ways, you know, yeah. that's, the, that's one thing about it. She has her ways, and we try to work with her to let her, you know, kind of work with us, you know, when we work with her. So, yeah. well, I think that's what makes work. you successful as a trainer. Your team, they go by the personality of the horse, right? And they give them what they need best to succeed. I exactly, exactly. You know, uh, a lot of times, you know, we do stuff like that, try to work with the horse, and, you know, like all of them got different personalities. So, mm -hmm. like you say, we trying to work with their personality to fit with, 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 the things that we do, so it usually works out. Well, it definitely worked out this time, and we're going to be watching Life in the Fast Lanes next Tuesday in Stakes Activity here at Delta. Good luck on the meet, and good luck with her. She's had a tremendous career. Thank you, Don.